Hey everybody, I hope you've had a lovely beginning of 2023. We started out this year just spending more time together as a family. We've been to the park quite a few times, playing soccer. My son's really getting into it and might play for his school team this year. So it's been just fun being in the outdoors, playing together. Mama spends more time sketching, sitting on the bench, looking at the sky, than actually playing, but it's fun to see all the rest of my family getting so passionate about a sport. No hands! My friend Lisa and I got to go see a comedian, Nate Bargatz, I think that's how you say his name. He's so hilarious. He has just like this straight face the whole time, but we were crying laughing by the time it was done. Uh, this is an example of some artwork I've been doing with my students. We were learning how to create space and how to take a flat piece of paper and make it an actual environment that a sculpture could stand in. and how to create the illusion of space by using value and shadows. This week I actually had the pleasure of going to the art museum and seeing the work of Yo-Yo Lander and hearing her talk about her process and where she gets inspiration and what she does if she ever gets an artist block and she shared some of the artists that she finds really inspiring too. So it was really fascinating just to be in her presence and to hear how another artist works. I really am blessed to live in a capital city and to be able to take advantage of an art museum and just such a beautiful space. There's so much room outside to do things in the summer and they're always having cool events at the museum and inviting people in. So I need to get more familiar with downtown and come down here more and take advantage of all these opportunities because not everybody has such easy access to beautiful artwork and interesting people. So. I should definitely do this more often. Some sort of rest, ease, not thinking too much. Mm. You may not get that, but that's what I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of painting other things. Like I, I have an aunt, my, um, my aunt Betsy, we used to visit her, me and my dad and my sister, and she had a candy store. So I was like, I think I want to do like a candy store in all black. <laughs> You know, so me and my friend, we were talking about that, and we were saying, you know, it's, it's so funny how people romanticize like artwork, and and, and, and and I would love to be like in a meadow with a sketch pad, <laughs> a glass of sangria, yes. a bird on my shoulder, <laughs> looking over the world. Yeah, but no, it's hard. It's it's labor intensive, and it's you know, it's labor intensive. There's a lot of. Um, just like it's very messy. I have a wet studio and a dry studio. The wet studio is for like actually painting the large strips of paper and getting it right and making sure the stains look right. And it's it's you have to think about so many things. You have to make sure that you are um, painting the piece from the furthest part that's back. So if I were to paint you right now, I have to make sure that I get like the this part of your heel first and then build the canvas up. Imagery is really important. 
in 100 years, there's going to be some very young grad student who's going to wonder how we lived today. And the only thing they're going to have is art, which is why art is really important. You know, It's very important with the music that we put out, the images that we put out. It's really important. So for me, I want to put out the things that I saw in growing up and the things that I see in my friends. But then another artist has a completely different interpretation and a different life. So I just think that it's my responsibility to showcase my world and maybe the world that I would like to see. Usually, whenever I'm working on a, a series, like halfway through it, I'll get like another idea. And I'm like, I can't wait to finish this so that I can go into that. But right now, I haven't gotten that. And I'm not afraid. I'm actually really happy because that just kind of means that I need to like go into the world or just you know go inside and just sort of just think about you know what else, what other parts of myself do I want to tap into or or someone else and tell that story. You know what I mean? So. Um, it, it just goes back to just, you know, talking, opening, up, opening yourself up. Um, it, it, it's just, you just kind of have to like play like, you know, Inspector Gadget, I guess, and just sort of, you know, crawl around and see what you can find and, and what speaks to you. And, and you know when you, you feel it in your gut, you're like, yeah, that's it. That's what I want to do. I'm get uh, Nate Lewis, and he's actually, we're actually going to, he's going to be showing in Paris as well on the, in the upstairs gallery. So his work is phenomenal. It's beautiful, and uh, Yashua Close also works on paper, and uh, a knowledge man. He's my he's my mentor, so I definitely want to get one of his pieces. Um, and I'm very much inspired by uh, Barclay Hendrick. Um, his work is really wonderful. I like his his scale. I like a lot of artists. I love Noah. Um, oh God. Noah, what is his last name? Davis, Davis yes, Noah Davis. <laughs> yeah, but his work is really wonderful. You could just tell he paints from his mind. And his work is like in the Rebel collection right now in um, Miami and, and in lots of collections. If you liked it, like it. If you loved it, sub it. Have a lovely day.